Today we review Shaun of the Dead, the 2004 comedy horror. This is for Harry Movie Club. At the end I will have an annotation so you can see the other Harry Movie Club entries. So Shaun of the Dead was directed by Edgar Wright. It's written by Simon Pegg and Edgar Wright. Simon Pegg also stars in this. In this film, Simon Pegg's character is Shaun, and then Nick Frost is in this as well. This is the first of three films in the uh, Blood and Ice Cream trilogy. There's Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and the most recent, The World's End. I'd say Shaun of the Dead is my second favorite, and my favorite would be Hot Fuzz. The World's End I didn't enjoy as much, but it's still a good film, so the whole trilogy is a solid trilogy. Shaun of the Dead being the first one. Shaun is with his girlfriend, but they're in a rut. His friend Ed is always with them. And because of that, Liz, Shaun's girlfriend, played by Kate Ashfield, uh, wants a change. So she ends up dumping him. His world has ended. And then a zombie apocalypse. So throughout the movie, because Sean did just get dumped by Liz. There is the romantic subplot of trying to get Liz back. Most comedy movies I find nowadays do have that, so they become a bit wrong commy I would have preferred it without having Liz uh, in here at all. There are parts in this film, it's about an hour and 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes. There are parts that uh, don't drag, but there are parts that I felt were unnecessary. Like where they did end up eating peanuts in the dark. That part would never have happened if Liz wasn't involved. It is kind of funny because the the flatmate that gets ripped apart did happen to say that that would be his master plan, but I just felt like it wasn't needed. The movie, though, is great. It is written very well. There is uh, quotable lines. It is uh, witty, and there is a variety of comedy. And the movie does end very well just kind of like you'd want it to but the best part I like about the ending is the fact that when they have the TV news reports about the cause of the virus or the cause of the outbreak they keep skipping it just before the result is given so it leaves it into interpretation the only time they say a cause is about some infected monkeys but they say that that was bull and they cut it off before they say shit but they meant bullshit so I do like that because it leaves to the imagination the actual cause because so many times there is this speculation about the cause and then it is given and then you're worried about it now you just have to worry about everything so like I've been saying, Shaun of the Dead, it is enjoyable, it is comedic for horror I wasn't really scared at any point there are a lot of parts where it's gory like Liz's flatmate gets his stomach ripped apart and you can see his intestines and his head gets ripped off there are gory parts like that but I didn't really feel scared or any I laughed more than I was scared, so it is definitely comedy. Keep or delete, Shaun of the Dead is definitely a keep. The whole Blood and Ice Cream trilogy is uh, but definitely a keep. So this was, today we reviewed 19, and it is for Harry Movie Club as well. I do have an annotation, it'll be right here, and it will be for the other Harry Movie Club entries for Shaun of the Dead and the other movies that have been watched. Please feel free to Reach me on Twitter at MadLFan or use hashtag TodayWeReview. Feel free to comment down below for future suggestions on movies to watch. I do look for them. You can find me on other social media and also online gaming. I'll see you later.